What really happened to Polly Holiday? Star in Alice. Polly Holiday was born Polly Dean Holiday on July 2, 1937, in Jasper, Alabama, the daughter of Ernest Sullivan Holiday, a truck driver, and Velma Mabel Holiday. She grew up in Childersburg and Sylacauga, where her brother Doyle's boyhood friend Jim Neighbors lived. Before acting, Holiday worked as a piano teacher in her native Alabama, and then in Florida. Accumulated quite an extensive theater background by the time she hit Sassy, blue-collar stardom on 70s TV as gum-cracking waitress Florence Jean Castleberry on the highly popular sitcom Alice. Honestly, what you experience in each person's life is different, and what she experiences, feelings will be what determines whether you are really strong or weak. The ups and downs that go through at the age of 83 are enough and thorough enough to fully comprehend everything. The girl we were chasing in the past, has a really lonely life when others look at her. A little lonely, just hope it's a little bit, I hope so. This girl did not want to get married. Polly Holiday chose acting, as a lifelong soulmate. Frost and wind covered her life, her future was shaped by endless efforts. Following her studies at Alabama College for Women, where she appeared in such productions as Medea and the Ladies Not for Burning and at Florida State University, Polly began her professional stage career in outdoor drama in North Carolina before joining the Asalo Repertory Company in Sarasota, Florida, and becoming a long, respected company member. From 1962 to 1972 during her initial residency, she appeared in such classic and contemporary productions as The Way of the World, Major Barbara, As You Like It, Look Back in Anger in 1968, The Subject Was Roses in 1971, and House of Blue Leaves the same year. Later roles with the company included Hay Fever and Free and Clear. Polly worked long and hard to disguise her Alabama drawl while building up a sturdy classical reputation. At the same time, she supplemented her income by teaching piano and also music in elementary schools. Making her off-Broadway debut in Orphe back in 1964, she moved to the East Coast in 1972 and appeared in New York productions of Wedding Band, and the girl most likely to succeed before taking her first Broadway bow in All Over Town directed by Dustin Hoffman in 1974. She then began appearing in small parts in such movies as The Catamount Killing, W.W. and the Dixie Dance Kings, and All the President's Men. Polly won the flashy TV role of Flo in 1976. As the southern baked hash slinger who delightfully redefined trailer park trash, the actress gave a no-holds-barred performance that earned her two Golden Globes awards and an Emmy nomination. She hit it so big with fans her character introduced the catchphrase Kiss Ma Grits. That she was given her own spin-off, aptly titled Flo. Surprisingly, the show lasted only one season despite another Emmy nomination. To avoid severe typecasting, Polly veered away from the television limelight and returned to her first love, the theater. She won renewed respect and critical notice on Broadway and in regional theater for her performances in A Sense of Humor, Black Coffee, her eccentric Martha Brewster in Arsenic and Old Lace, as Amanda Wingfield in The Glass Menagerie. From time to time, Polly has taken on feisty roles in both comic and dramatic films, such as The Old Crank Who Meets a Freakish End in the box office critter hit Gremlins, and on TV wherein she briefly replaced Eileen Brennan as Captain Amanda Allen in the series Private Benjamin after Ms. Brennan's near-fatal car accident in 1982. Though Polly never recaptured the brash success of her Alice years, she has continued at a healthy pace primarily in guest spots. She nominally played wise and opinionated mothers and grandmothers on such shows as Stir Crazy, The Golden Girls, Amazing Stories, the Equalizer, and Homicide, Life on the Streets. She also had recurring roles as Mama Love on the short-lived crime series The Client and as Patricia Richardson's mom on the hit sitcom Home Improvement. Broaching the millennium she continued sporadically with featured parts in such films as Mrs. Doubtfire, Mr. Wrong, 
The Parent Trap, The Heartbreak Kid, and Fair Game. She has also been featured on stage in such plays as The Time of the Cuckoo, Dividing the Estate, and The Old Friends. Holiday's success as the brassy, cynical, gregarious flow on Alice in 1976 for which role she wore a red wig reportedly did not endear her to the titular star of the show, Linda Lavin. The friction between the two actresses was such that Holiday left for her own short-lived spin-off series, Flow. Alice remained on the air for several more seasons but Holiday never returned, even to make a guest appearance. Holiday's successor, actress Diane Ladd, also did not get along with Lavin and left. Ladd was succeeded by Celia Weston, who remained until the series ended. Both Holiday and Ladd were unsuccessfully nominated for the highest awards in their respective media for playing Flo, Ladd for the Oscar and Holiday for an Emmy. Holiday appeared again on Broadway as Big Mama in a revival of Tennessee Williams' Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, for which she was nominated for the 1990 Tony Award as Best Featured Actress in Drama or Comedy. Inducted in the Alabama Stage and Screen Hall of Fame in 2000. In January 2010 she appeared as herself in an official advertising campaign for the Episcopal Church. In New York City. She sang in the Grace Church Choral Society in Greenwich Village and ran a chamber music series there called the Willow Ensemble. She is also a registered Democrat. In the fall of 2019 she updated her political affiliation to Republican, having been dissatisfied with the direction the Democratic Party had been going in both national and local offices. Polly, you were my favorite country girl in Alice when I was a teenager. Dot you were all the talk in Tuplelo Miss. Ha! Love you a lot.